really been loving the J-Cat Beauty You oh. My channel and thank you so much for watching for today's video I've decided to do my August favorites the favorites that I'm going to show you for today are beauty skincare body care and a couple of random ones I'll try to do a separate video for my more miscellaneous favorites like my TV shows or the food that I've been loving but for now I'm going to share with you guys the things that I have been reaching for for the entire month of August as well as during June and July so if you want to see what some of my beauty favorites are then please keep watching the first makeup product that I've been loving for the whole month of August has been the Glossier Cherry Balm.com Lip Balm. My sister Trina got this for me when she placed an order on Glossier and I love it. Guys, it's a matte lip balm. I don't know how they do it, but it's not shiny at all and it leaves a hint of color on your lips so it's perfect for every day. Or if you're going to school, this is something that I'm sure the teachers or the admin wouldn't mind if you use. It's very, very subtle but at the same time, it's super hydrating and it keeps my lips feeling really really good all day because I tend to get chapped lips so this has been a big savior for the entire month of August my next beauty favorite is another product from Glossier. Now this is their famous stretch concealer. I have a ton of YouTubers who I love to watch who swear by this concealer. I covet the, the Anna Edit, Lily Pebbles, they all talk about this concealer and when my sister Trina heard about it, she kindly and generously went on Glossier again to get me this concealer. I have it in the shade medium and it's super super nice guys. It's a very thin sort of watery formulated concealer so it's very light on the skin and it absorbs really quickly but at the same time even if it is very thin in formulation it's very very pigmented so I tend to use it under my eyes on some blemishes since I don't really use foundation every day I like to use this concealer on red patches or on spots or under my eyes just so I look a little bit more fresh a little bit more awake and more even on my skin tone and it's a really nice formula I absolutely love it I think that it's a great concealer if you're looking for a concealer that doesn't crease under your eyes that's gentle and light on the skin and is perfect for everyday use then the Glossier stretch concealer is a concealer you'd want to try the Maybelline fit me concealer I've got this in the shade 20 sand if you haven't seen my tried and tested video for the Maybelline fit me foundation I'll leave a link somewhere here so you guys can watch it but I also picked up their fit me concealer and I love it I have been using this almost every day as well if I'm not using the Glossier concealer I'm using this it's very pigmented but very easy to blend so if you've got a pimple that you want to hide this is basically Photoshop in a tube it's great for under the eyes it's great for blemishes and it's very affordable as well I get mine in PCX or at Watson's the fit me range is more available now which is a really good thing because their products are affordable and they're really good as well this next beauty favorite is something very new to me I actually hosted an event for this brand a couple of weeks ago it's the J cat beauty you glow girl baked high highlighter. I love this. Looks really glittery and really chunky on the pan, but I'm wearing it today and it gives the most subtle rose gold highlight on your cheekbones. I really, really have been loving this. I just put a little bit on my cheekbones, on the tip of my nose, and on my cupid's bow, and it gives me just such a nice glow. And despite the sparkles looking really chunky on the pan, it's not chunky at all or patchy or streaky on your skin. My last two beauty favorites for the month of August have been brow products. Products. Now, you guys know how much I love a good eyebrow. Mawala na lang lahat, wag lang kilay. I'm a kilay girl through and through. And for the month of August, I've really been loving these two products. The first one is the K Palette Real Lasting Eyebrow 24 Hour Pen, I guess. It's like a marker pen. I have it in the shade 01. This is awesome. It's super easy to use. So if you're into like felt tip eyeliners, this will be very easy for you to use. It's very light as as well so you can really draw on your eyebrows and you can fill them in and they'll look really natural and they do last all day I've actually tried I've washed my face after filling in my brows with this and it didn't go away so if you want to go to the beach or if you're gonna go for a run or if you're gonna do something outdoorsy but you want to have your key light on then the K palette real lasting eyebrow marker is the way to go I know it's about a thousand pesos but I really think it's worth it it's something that I've been reaching for the entire month of August and I really love it for my eyebrows the other brow product that I've also been loving for the entire month of August was actually a recent discovery. It's the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. Now this is a brow mascara and I have it in the shade Deep Brown. This has 
beat my Maybelline Fashion Brow for like the best brow mascara in the world. I honestly feel like I'm not gonna find a brow mascara that can even come close to this. There are actual fibers, guys, in the formula. So when you comb up your brows, they make your brows look bushier, fuller, and a lot more natural. So I use this every day and I really like it. It's also sweat proof because it's been really humid and really hot and rainy this past month. A lot of the times like when I'd wipe my face or I'd use a tissue to wipe my face, a lot of the times my eyebrow mascara, the one that I had been using previously, would come off. But this one does not budge. So if you want budge-proof brows that look super full and super natural at the same time, then I suggest you give the Maybelline Brow Precise a try. It's been a staple for me this whole month and I already have a backup. It's there in my vanity. I am so afraid to run out of this amazing product. Moving on to skincare favorites. The first one for me is also, again, something that I only started using this August, but I have fallen in love with. It's the Pond's Age Miracle Dual Action Eye Cream. I love this eye cream so, so much. It's a two-step eye cream, so it's a little princessy in a way. You've got the white cream for under the eyes, and the pink cream for your eyelids. But I find that this is so rich, it's so thick, and it's super moisturizing. And whenever I wear tons of eye makeup or I don't sleep well the night before and my eyes feel really tired and the skin around my eyes feel tight and sort of dry, whenever I use this and I wake up the next day, the skin around my eyes just feels so hydrated. I find that it really works so well for the skin around my eyes. I feel like it's really doing something for my skin, which is a good thing because I know that eye creams, you can't really see the effect till years later but I've really been enjoying using this because my skin has been really temperamental this whole month of August I've been having a couple of breakouts that I couldn't even understand why it was happening I would get a couple of pimples or I'd get those annoying white bumps around my skin I felt like my skin was just really clogged and really stressed out and one of the things that's really been helping my skin calm down is the origins clear improvement active charcoal mask to clear pores I've been using this once a week for the whole month of August sometimes Sometimes I do my entire face or sometimes I just put the mask over the problem areas and I leave it on for about 20 to 30 minutes and then I wash it off and then go about my regular cleansing and I find that this has really helped my skin clear up because my skin felt super clogged and super stressed out I feel like this mask really worked its way into my skin and it helped dry out spots it helped make some of those little bumps disappear and overall it just helped make my skin a lot clearer so this has really been a savior for me for the month of August another product that I am super obsessed with is the In Her Element Nourish and Cleanse Balm. Now this is one of the babies of Liz Lanuzo. She's a fantastic, amazing girl boss. She of course runs the site projectvanity.com where I write a uh, weekly roundup of all things beauty. And she kindly sent me this and I love it. If you're into cleansing balms and you want something that's gentle on your skin but can remove waterproof makeup, then this is something you want to check out. It is proudly Pinoy. It is made here in the Philippines and of course it is owned by Liz. It smells like chocolate. It smells so good. It's in this adorable pink color and it's just a fantastic balm. Because I have really sensitive skin, I'm always hesitant to try scented products or balm slash oily products. But when I gave this a go and I used it on my skin to remove my makeup, it felt so good, guys. My skin felt super clear and it removed even my waterproof mascara, which for me is a big deal because the waterproof mascara that I use is super budge-proof. So again, if you want to try a new cleansing balm that's gentle on the skin and is absolutely fabulous, then don't forget to check out In Her Element. Shout out to you Liz this is a fantastic product I'm gonna buy another one my last skincare favorite was actually sent to me as well by Skin Cosmetics. They're an account that sell Korean skincare products which you guys know K-Beauty and K-Skincare are really having a moment right now and for good reason. I've been to Korea twice and I've seen a lot of girls with fabulous skin like poreless, super clear baby skin so I know that their skincare is very good. So I decided to try one of the serums and it's from a brand called Huxley. I've actually never heard of this brand before but when I saw it on the Instagram account of Skin Cosmetics I was like, oh, that's something I want to try. So they sent me the Secret of Sahara Oil Essence, Essence Like Oil Like. It's a serum and it's very gentle on the skin. It's supposed to aid in hydration as well as minimize redness, which are two things that my skin really need at the moment. And I find that it is super gentle on my skin. My skin hasn't broken out. My skin drinks this up. I put a couple of drops on my palm and then I put it on my face at night. And when I wake up the next day, my skin just feels so 
plum. It feels so healthy and it's really been enjoying this product which makes me want to try more from the range. So again, if you guys are into Korean skincare, don't forget to check out Skin Cosmetics over on Instagram. I'll leave their link down below. But again, thank you guys so much. If you didn't send me this, I would have never known about it and I would have been missing out because this is a product that I really, really have grown to love. Another firm favorite of mine for this month has been the Palmolive Naturals White Plus Milk Body Wash. This was sent to me by Sample Room PH, so thank you guys so much for sending this my way. Guys, it smells so, so good. I can't describe it other than it's fresh, it's clean. Every time I use this, I don't know, I just feel so cozy. I can't describe it other than it smells super clean and super fresh. So if you guys are into body washes, you should definitely check this out. I love it. So again, thank you to Sample Room for sending this to me. This is the Jo Malone Earl Grey and Cucumber Perfume. I got this in Malaysia last year. It's sort of become a tradition with my sister and my mom. We go to Malaysia and then we go to a Jo Malone store, the one by the Petronas Towers, and we buy a bottle each. And I love this scent. I've been using it for the whole month of August and again it smells very clean. It smells very fresh. You can really smell the cucumber in it and the Earl Grey gives it this semi-musky but fresh scent. I really love it. I'm trying my best not to go through it too much because this is very expensive but it has been one of my favorites for this month and I've been using it on special occasions or during events and every time I spray it it just reminds me of Malaysia and I don't know it just brings back so many good memories. If you're looking for a good present to give somebody or you want to give them something a little bit more special, a little bit more luxe, I suggest you go to a Jo Malone counter and give the Earl Grey and Cucumber scent a smell. It smells so good guys and I've got a lot of compliments while wearing it. Last two favorites before we end this video. The first ones are again scents and their candles. I've got two candles that I've been loving for the month of August. The first one is the Patriot Candles in Home Linens. And the second one is the Bath and Body Candle in the Waikiki Beach Coconut Scent. Both of these candles smell super fresh and super clean. The Home Linens one, legit guys, smells like fresh laundry. It smells so good. And don't let it size fool you for a tiny candle whenever I light this my entire room smells like a laundromat in like the best possible way. I absolutely love it. It smells super fresh. And the Bath and Body Works candle, which is a three wick candle, burns just as beautifully. It smells very coconutty, but very fresh as well. And it gets my room smelling like a paradise in minutes. So whenever I want to just calm down from a stressful or tiring day, I light one of these candles up and my room just becomes a safe haven for me to relax and unwind. And I've really been loving candles especially because it's been so gloomy lately. It's been rainy, it's been humid, and just lighting these candles in my room has become a small luxury for me. My gratitude journal. Now this is a project I set for myself end of July, and it's that every day I'm gonna journal down the things I'm grateful for that happened on that day. So from the last week of July up until now, every day I jot down all of the things that I'm grateful for, whether it be a parking space in Ortigas, or a fun day with my mom, or an event, or a gig, or a fun race radio show, I always write it down and I find that doing this makes me happier and it makes me more content about my life and about my day and it's really fun and it makes me look forward to the days ahead. So if you guys are looking for a more positive thing or a more positive project that you want to do or start for yourself, then why not give a gratitude journal a try? I'm already running out of space, which I actually love that I'm running out of space, which means I'm really grateful for a lot of things. I can't wait to buy another notebook and continue this on because the gratitude journal has been such a staple for me. And that does it for my August favorites. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Do let me know in the comments below what have been some of your favorites for the month of August, as well as any video suggestions you have for me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!